Z, good morning, LeVar. How are you? Good morning, good morning. How you guys doing? What's up, LB? Hey, what's up, Keyshawn? What's going on, baby? Man, explain to me, t- t- explain to me, because I, I, I read somewhere and I've heard that the Laker situation, explain to me exactly what you meant when you made those comments to that station in Arizona. Well, I'm not even going to say what I, what I meant. I'm going to tell you exactly what I said. That was a small little radio station, I guess, in Tucson. And the way they try to mix my words up is saying that I said, my son's only going to play for the Lakers. Now, why would I say that? My guy just wants to get to the league. It doesn't matter what team he plays for. I would love him to play for the Lakers. That's what I told him. I said, my son's going to be a Laker. I said, because I'm lucky like that. Well, and you and you feel like they're in a perfect spot where right. they're at, and they probably pick in the top four, and your son's talent probably will land him in the top four, and hopefully that pairing will be the Lakers. Yes. You, I, said, I'm, I, said, I said like this, too. He's going to be a Laker. I'm going to speak it into existence. Well, you were on when you were on with us a couple of weeks ago. You, we asked you about his best fit, and you actually told us you thought it would be the Lakers. And we didn't make it didn't make national news because right. we took it for what it was worth at the time. Was right. you hoping that would be the case? Right. That's exactly what I was hoping. Like I said, I'm gonna speak it into existence. I think it's all lined up for my boy to be a Laker. Because I was just like, wow, the Lakers just got Magic Johnson back after all these years. Yeah, now, I I happen to think that he fits great with the Lakers because I actually think he and D'Angelo can play in the same backcourt together. Um, We've been talking to a lot of guys who covered D'Angelo in college who feel he may be better suited to play the two, and I don't think it's a bad thing to have two guys that can handle the ball in the backcourt either. Right. So, here's the thing. Zo will fit with anybody. But usually when he comes to a team, he pushes everybody into their right spots. That's the same thing he did with UCLA. Everybody got to go to their right spots, and now it's flowing real good. He'll do the same thing with a pro team. Now, before I ask you when you're on the show about the pressure that, that, you know, parents put on their kids because they say things or or it's out there, whatever the case may be, do you feel like it's getting to the point, though, where you need to take a step back because people starting to, like, put the pressure on your son well, because of some of the thing things right that you here. say? I know what my son's about. He knows what I'm about. Now, all these people saying, oh, LeVar needs to shut up and let his son just play. No, you shut up and let my son just play. So you I'm see me? Say whatever I want to say, and I've been like this all my life. And for me? Like, everybody expects this right now, Keyshawn, for me to bag up so they can go on and do what they do. I'm not bagging up. I've been in my son's life all this time. So why he wouldn't be thinking differently if I didn't say anything. See, the thing that the thing that scares me, I don't want you to be quiet. I want you to be a father. I got right. a son that's playing college football now. And and uh-huh. but the thing that scares me in the situation is I don't want people trying to target you and your son to set you up for failure by uh-huh. saying things. That's the thing that I'm afraid of for you, is that they want to see you fail. Because you are so bolsterish, you are a matter of fact, this is what I told you he was going to do. It's in your face. And then all of a sudden, the moment that they get the opportunity, they try to derail that process. And I don't want to see that happen because in sports, they will try and do it. Oh, yeah. they Man, they've been trying so long to stop me from saying and doing what we do. But they can't because my boy's will and our wheels are so strong. When he went to Chino Hills, he said, I'll be dang if anybody ever comes out of there to D1 school to play basketball. My sons, all three of them, they don't like that. I got three of them. They said last year, I said, as soon as my youngest son come to this team, we are never lose in high school. And we went 35-0. and 0. They've been trying to shut me up for the longest, and all this stuff keep coming true. They did all these rankings on my boys. Oh, he'll never do this. He'll never do that. And look where he at right now. Ain't got nothing to do with people thinking about how they're going to derail me. They can't stop us. T- take me through the agent process, because I read somewhere where you said that you were going to probably do your own marketing 
as well as start your own agency, do you have qualified people that's going to join you or have you already put that together? Everything is already together. Like I said, everything going to be in-house. The normal thing is for everybody to get an agent. But why do you need an agent if where he's trafficked, the price is already there? LeVar Ball with LeVar Ball with us here. Uh, he's the father of Lonzo, Leangelo, and LaMelo Ball on ESPN LA. Um, you said that it's in place. Um, I've heard that you want to apply to be an agent. Is that also in in the works at the moment? No, I'm not applying to be an agent. I'm not applying to be an agent. Okay, fair enough then. Uh, so you will let someone handle um, the negotiations? Somebody, it's not even have to be really a negotiation. They just got to read the contract, that's all. Gotcha. Let me ask you this, uh, Big Ball. What's your what <clears throat> What's your plan in terms of because I I know you got the the uh, the website with the ballers and all that. What's your plan in terms of taking him to the next level in the marketing field? Because obviously the tennis shoe deals and all of those sort of things, the tennis shoe companies, they got to be clamoring and kicking in your door right now. They're kicking in the door, but they shocked on what I'm telling them. I said I'm not looking for no endorsement deal. I'm looking for a marketing and distribution deal, co-branding. The only person doing that is Jordan with Nike. That's what we for. Like I said, if Lonzo don't play, I mean, if Lonzo doesn't sign with Adidas, Nike, or Under Armour, whoever, guess what? I'll sign the big baller brand. Um, so you're saying that you'll create your own brand if he doesn't sign one of those brands? We already got our own brand. Right. Triple B's. Lonzo will be the first one drafted with his own brand. That don't happen. Man, Nike you need to you need to sign me to Triple B's then. <laughs> I'm ready to sign. What? Man, I, I'm ready to sign. In fact, you need to give me some gear. You need to Raj. You need to get, Raj, you need to get his job. number and get the address. I need to get some gear. Two X. I got you. Two X. I got you. Okay. And, and I'm a rep it. Lavar, you do do you have people in place for that then too to kind of make that a bigger thing? Of course I do. Okay. I don't go on this stuff blind. I got everything situated, but I don't have to be out there telling everybody. No, I understand. It happens. I understand. We're just, you know what, just asking the question so people don't right. assume stuff later. You know what I mean? We're trying to be right. thorough here with you. Well, you know people going to assume stuff anyway, so I really don't mind. Yeah. But like I said, my boy changes stuff on the court. He's going to change it off the court too. Um, LeVar Ball with us here again. LeVar, let's talk about your son's team. We only got about a minute or two here, uh, his current team. Um, what do you make of – how Alford has handled this team, particularly on defense. There's been some criticisms there. There's been some criticisms on defense. Hey, that ain't got nothing to do with the boys. Just got to play a little bit of D. Now, like I said, you got to know what your calling is, and your calling is playing offense and to score more points. You just have to be able to make a couple of stops here and there, but you got to put that ball in the hole. And if you understand what type of team you have, you know your identity. Go with that first, because everybody gonna always can play back defense, defense, defense. Everybody can play defense. It's just buckling down and, and, and just having a little pride and stopping people. That's all. I thought, I, hey man, last time I talked to you, you told me Sierra Canyon couldn't handle y'all. Both of y'all got popped. <laughs> Chino Hill, Chino Hills got popped, and Sierra Canyon got popped. Hey, hey, Chino Hills got popped because the, the coach is hard headed. He tried to go man to man, and we've been playing zone and trapping the whole goddamn season. And now he want to try to act like he a coach to do it his way. 20-something <laughs> seconds left. My son got the ball. He called timeout. He called he timeout. And then the timeout, guess what he said? One shot. And now the guy comes up. Now the other defense can set their team up to double-team Mello. Because Mello already had a game plan. Going to do a screen and roll with Jello, and it was going to be game over. But oh, they try man. to be hard-headed and go their way instead of my way, that's what happens. He's LeVar Ball, the father of Lonzo, Leangelo, and LaMelo Ball with us here on ESPN LA. LeVar, always a pleasure, man. Make Thanks. sure I get that gear, though. <laughs> Thank man, I got you, Keisha. Thanks, right. Thanks for making time for us, LeVar. All right, y'all take care. All right, take care. All right, we got, we're going to follow up there. We're going to open up the discussion. Want to get people's thoughts on that. Thanks to LeVar Ball for joining us there.